So a lot of people think that the stuff that I make are, are rant videos, you know? Videos about stuff that I just despise. The stuff that I want to see get just, just torn down, shredded up, and, and then fed to the dogs. When in all actuality, the majority, if not then, you know, all the stuff that I make are, are just for jokes, you know? M most stuff that I talk about, or, or any comedian or commentator in particular talks about, has to be to a certain extent exaggerated, or, or you know, uh, certain parts of the topic hyped up to get some sort of value out of. This isn't one of those videos. See, see I, I, I'm gonna, I'd like to show you something. A, a clip that's very important to me. Mordekaiser banishes a single enemy champion to the death realm for a gruesome 1v1. Oh, okay, so, so now the the majority of you guys who don't play this game called League of Legends don't know how many cans, how many cans of, uh, uh, of retardation just got opened for, for me clicking that play button. I, I'll explain in a few seconds, but this is by far one of Riot Games the people who make this game, this is by far one of the worst examples of game design you could ever allow in your game. So how can I explain this properly? Uh, okay, okay, so, so you guys know chess, right? You know, most everyone knows how to play chess. So, so let's say that he, he's the queen of chess. You guys know the queen, possibly the best piece in the game. She can go diagonal, she can go forward, backwards, diagonally backwards, and, you know, and she can keep moving in a direction until she reaches a piece or, or the end of the board. She, she can pretty much just do it all. And, and you know in chess, the entire objective is to protect your king at all costs while, while also trying to take down your enemy's king. The difficulty comes in is that there are other pieces surrounding the king, so if you want to get to the king, you have to strategically take down the other person's pieces one by one while trying to keep as many of your strong pieces on the board. So what I just showed you, analogically, is the queen saying, oh yeah, Fuck all these pieces, you guys don't matter. I'm gonna take the king to a completely different and smaller game board, and, and we're gonna 1v1 for a few turns. This champion is named Mordekaiser. And for whatever reason, whatever fumes over at that, or the right headquarters the design team has been inhaling, they thought it was okay to allow this horrible game design to make it past test servers. I, I, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, okay, okay. So, so the reason why this is such a big thing is because in League of Legends, though it's a fairly team-reliant game, regardless of how deprived of intelligence your teammates are, there's always a way to either help your teammates perform better in team fights by A, stopping your teammate from dying quicker by shielding them when they're being attacked, B, stunning or crowd controlling the person that's attacking them, or C, attack the person that's attacking your ally and then kill them before they kill your teammate. No matter what class of champion you are, you still get a say. But when Mordekaiser ults someone, and then he takes them to a completely different universe, a whole new world, you take all of that away. You can't shield your ally, you can't stop Mordekaiser from attacking them by attacking him or crowd controlling him. You can only hope and pray and pray that your teammate gets out of the ultimate alive. You get to take away a fundamental part of the game just by clicking the R button. The only way you're able to avoid this is if your teammate buys an item from collecting gold in-game called Quicksilver Sash, which is an even worse game design solution th than the than the ultimate problem itself. Now, instead of instead of spending three to five minutes explaining what gold income is, core items, and team compositions, and how it ties in the YQSS is a bad solution, just read all of this. Okay, now, now read this. And the strongest part about this interaction, it, it isn't what people think it is. It, it isn't on the surface where it's forcing certain champions that aren't good at dueling, like squishy support champions or squishy ranged attack damage carries that require teammates to protect them to, to get their damage off properly. It's just the fact that it's too effective. Regardless if you or your team is winning or losing, you're still able to remove anyone you want from a team fight. You, you can remove the enemy jungler from, from big jungle objectives to secure smites. You potentially lower a fed enemy's gold income advantage by forcing them to build QSS if they want to stay relevant in team fights. And along with all that, that's just the character's ultimate. In his base kit, he has a Hulk smash, a, a scorpion chain, and he can tank hits like a nigga. Bottom line, the ultimate is just too good. 
It, it breaks the very, what, what, fabric of the game? And, and I'm severely disappointed in whoever actually looked at the final product and, and said, yeah, th that looks great and fair to play against. Go, go ahead and put it in the game.